Hi friends. Welcome to Dentistry Love Channel. Bleaching Part 7, Non-Vital Bleaching. When the discoloration is from within the pulp chamber, from necrotic pulp tissue or from staining agents that are present in the pulp chamber, the bleaching treatment need to take place within the pulp chamber. It involves use of chemical agents within the coronal portion of an endodontically treated tooth to remove tooth discoloration. Techniques employed include Walking bleach technique Thermocatalytic technique Indications Discolorations of pulp chamber origin Moderate to severe tetracycline staining. Dentin discoloration. Discolorations not agreeable to extracoronal bleaching. Contraindications. Superficial enamel discoloration. Defective enamel formation. Presence of caries. Unpredictable prognosis of tooth. Walking bleach technique. It is employed in discolored teeth or dead tooth before going for this. It's necessary to undergo RCT. Internal staining of the dentin caused by the remnants of obturating materials in the pulp chamber, as well as by materials and tissue debris in the pulp horns. Procedural steps include Step 1, coronal restoration is removed completely, access preparation is improved, and gutta percha is removed apically to just below the cervical margin. Step 2, next, the pulp horns are cleaned with a round burr. Shaving a thin layer of dentin from the facial wall is optional and may be attempted at later appointments if discoloration persists. Step 3 colon A protective cement base 1 mm of glass ionomer cement base was placed over the gutta percha to form a barrier between the sealed root canal and the bleaching material, mechanical seal. Step 4, after removal of sealer remnants and materials from chamber with solvents. Above jack a paste composed of sodium perborate and water, mixed to consistency of wet sand, is placed. The incisal area is undercut to retain the temporary restoration. Step 5, at a subsequent appointment, when the desired shade has been reached, a permanent restoration is placed. Acid etched composite restores lingual access and extends into the pulp horns for retention and to support the incisal edge. Adverse effects include external root resorption, this is probably caused due to the diffusion of hydrogen peroxide through unprotected dentinal tubules leading to resorptive changes in the periodontium. The caustic nature of hydrogen peroxide can cause the necrosis of the cementum and the periodontium, which in turn results in initiation of inflammation and subsequent resorption. Resorptive process may be worsened with the application of heat. Thermocatalytic technique for bleaching agent activation. Hence, application of an appropriate intracoronal barrier is mandatory for intracoronal bleaching procedures. Chemical burn. Superoxal is highly caustic in nature and can result in chemical burns and sloughing of gingival tissue. Hence, the gingiva must be protected with petroleum jelly, or a base, or cocoa butter. Proper isolation is necessary to avoid it. Inhibition of resin polymerization, the residual oxygen following bleaching procedure adversely affects the bonding and polymerization of composite resins. It is prudent to completely eliminate residual hydrogen peroxide before restoring the tooth. With composite, sodium ascorbate is a buffered form of vitamin C that consists of 90% ascorbic acid bound to 10% sodium a powerful antioxidant useful in eliminating residual oxygen following bleaching a study examined the effects of different application times of sodium ascorbate on the bond strength of composite resin to bleached dentin 10% sodium ascorbate solution as an antioxidant is an effective choice for increasing the bond strength Application of SA gel for three days after non-vital bleaching was effective in reducing micro-leakage of composite restoration in intracoronally bleached teeth. Thank you friends. Please do subscribe for more videos.